Today's video, I have a cigar they call Tadascan Yellow. Tadascan Yellow, even though it's got a black band, I guess they remade the line and put a black band here. I can get the sunlight out of this today. I don't know if I can do it or not. But it's a Gordo 6x60 and it's made by CLE, I believe, in Camacho. CLE puts it out, the makers of Rancho Luna and all of them. <laughs> Releases this cigar. I thought this was Davidoff, but it's it's uh, CLE, after all, puts this one out. And it's Habano wrapper with a mix of Habano and Carollo filler. I do know that fact about it. So let's see how this smokes. I'm, I'm, I want to see if this is long filler or pieces come out of it. I want to see if that be the case here. So I'm going to cut it. Oh, God. Looks like a few, maybe a few shavings, but not too bad overall on the end there. Not too, too bad. It smells like nice and hay and beautiful sweetness. A little bit of liquor even, like a whiskey. Cedar wood. Maybe a little bit of apple. Hmm. Oh yeah, strong apple on the pre-light draw. Apple and hay sweetness. Apple and hay. <laughs> something hanging on the lens here. <laughs> Jesus Christ. More things to annoy me, I'll tell you. There. There. A heavy apple and hay type of a taste, like an apple cranberry sauce. Yeah, like an apple and cranberry sauce on the pre light draw. That's a little different. And I'm gonna light it up right now and see how this tastes on fire. Oh, it smells good so far. Get a little bit more higher up. Mm. Very good. Mm. So far, very nice. Once I have this in the position, if I move it, it'll be awkward, kind of shit. What the fuck? Huh? Set this down is very, very fucking difficult. Once I have it in the spot, it fucking sucks. Jesus motherfucking Christ. Come on. All right, I'm gonna have to hold it like this for now until I can get a proper setting on it to sit it down, and that's all there is to it. But anyway, nice start um, from the get-go. It um, produces enough smoke output. Um, And it tastes very good. It tastes very good. Oh yeah, I can fucking just set this down. Fuck it. I did before with no problem. Wait. Oh, there it is. All right. But <clears throat> dry. It's not moist out the end. It doesn't pick up moisture really good. Um. 
it's dry, which I like. I like a dry smoke where I can taste it. It's not prone to getting all slobbered. Now you can't see my face from this angle. But the way the sun is hitting me that this video sucks right there. I hear it burning, which is interesting. I hear the bird I pss, pss, hissing from the burn. Very nice smoke, though. I like the flavors. It's like a nice creaminess all throughout. Mild to medium body. I hear a hissing more than I do in any other smoke. That might be a good sign. We'll see. But I taste a nice sweetness and creaminess in this. The flavor is very, very good. Can you hear the hiss at anybody? It hisses every time I puff, which I don't hear in a lot of cigars. <coughs> they don't all hiss like that. It's interesting. But it's hissing. As you see, a nice even burn for the most part. But it hisses. If anyone catches that, it is hissing. But the flavor is very, very creamy and nice. I don't know how to explain it. It's just a very good stout. Creamy. A little bit of creamy mixed nuts and cream coffee. And a nice, definite creaminess out the retrohale with very light spice. Very nice taste. And this is the budget line from CLE, too. Tadascan, Tatascan, whatever you want to say it. All right, so I should be back at the end of the first third. See how it develops. Five minutes in right now, I'm about at the first third here. I taste apple pie and crust, mixed nuts, and medium coffee, coffee grounds. Yeah, I tasted apple pie with the crust, absolutely. Coffee and mixed nuts. A mixed flavor of them. The ash is hanging on pretty good. This is a nice sweet cigar. Although at the end, it's not really getting a lot of saliva pickup still. Maybe. But but what it is, it's um it kind of feels like it's more tile like from the back, but it's still producing a lot of good flavors too, you know. I mean, see how he makes this, so I can see why the flavors are good in here. But, uh, this is their budget cigar, and I believe it's just as good. Overall, the flavor profile. Now, as far as how this ash is, I would say it's short filler and long filler. It's hard to say because it looks like the ash is sloppy a little bit. It's their $3 cigar or less. I mean, it's more a little more than $3 here though. But it's like $3.99 tops or something. But it, it has a nice sweet flavor to it. It's, it's a good smoke. And there's a little oil producing right here too. A little bit. It's not bad. It's more like a... The retrohale is pretty similar. It's, it's creamy, but it's not as creamy either. But also not full of spice at the same time. <laughs> there is spice in the retro hail. 
It's like a apple cobbler or an apple pie too out the retro hail with a little bit of spice, not anything too suffocating. A tiny bit of curry on the aftertaste. Yep, a tiny bit of curry now coming in off the retro hail. Maybe lemon curry, a little bit of lemon zest also. Um, Yeah, lemon zest right now. I'm, I'm tasting. Let's pick it up a bit more. Uh, so it's burned overall even. Maybe try to canoe a little bit, but it's a nice, it's a nice smoke for the most part. It, uh, it is. It's a nice smoke. Tastes good as long as you give it breaks, which I'm about to do. Well, lighter puffs. So, with all that being said, I'm going to shut this off for now and come back, possibly past the halfway point. I'm over a third now, I think. Going on. 45 to 50 minutes, I would say, at this point, closer to 50 maybe, 45 to 50, but anyway, smoking good overall, still the same nice flavors, they're just a little different now, the cigar's still pretty um, dry, soaks up the saliva in there, it's not like it's slobbering, it doesn't, it's comfortable in that way. At least the creamy mashed potatoes and butter right now coming out the draw. With a little bit of lemon and mixed nuts. Which is definitely coming out as well right now. Medium body. Mild to medium. It's a nice smoke. It's mild to medium. So. Not a lot of strength. The flavor profile is probably mild to medium, too. Between strength and body, it's all throughout mild to medium. It's one of those smokes someone looking for a mild would go out and get. Maybe at a smaller size, though. This is their ideal type of strength and profile. Just with more long fill and shorter size. That's what I would say. For the average person looking for a mild smoke is going to probably look for. These flavors in a smaller ring gauge, probably. But this is more value for the money, so. So it's good for what it is. For sure. Smoking myself out. There's a lot of smoke. A ton of smoke output in here. I gotta put the window down more because it's getting in my eyes right now. Jesus. It's getting in my eyes. I gotta put this down a little more. I gotta put it down a little bit more. Put it down a little bit. Just go ahead and stop my truck up. Really. But get some of the smoke out of here. But no, it's very mild flavor profile. The ash is still hanging on pretty decently. The retro hail is like a lemon and cayenne pepper type of taste. Combination of lemon and cayenne pepper and, and 
maybe almond milk or something like that. Almond milk, I would even say, is in the retro hail. There's good flavors in this cigar. I'm going to definitely say so. So that being said, I could be back at the knob. We'll see how it goes. I'll give a little update then. If not, then that's the video for today. But I might put another video up. But if I don't, just in case I don't, then talk to you all later. Well, at this point of the cigar, it's a nice even burn going on the end here. Nice and even. Even if there are some pieces and stuff in here and there's some blackening from the holes in the ash. It's a good cigar. I like the flavor of it. I'd get it again, truthfully. Fucking people. Speed. I'm telling you, they can get away with it too because nobody's checking on that. But anyway. Okay. So. Spoken very well, very nicely. The flavor profile right now is like a mixed nuts and uh, brown sugar. A little bit of a brown sugar. And earth. Total earth because a lot of the flavors are burned out right now. And it's down to the nub. But it's going well. Okay, tried this one. It's nice. A little bit of maple syrup. I taste a maple syrup now out the retro hail with cedar wood and maple syrup. With cayenne pepper spice. The spice is picked up now on the retro hail. Good cigar. It's decent. For the price, you can't beat it. It's a good smoke and a high end um, cigar maker makes these. Very nice cigar, all the way around. So, all that being said, I enjoy it. It's got a little bit left to go, too. I am about over an hour in at this point, probably an hour and five minutes. An hour and five minutes, maybe better. I don't know, maybe closer to an hour and eight minutes. But it's it's holding up. I haven't had to touch it up once. Comfortable. Burns good. It's all you can really ask for, you know, especially for the price point. So, <coughs> damn, I got the windows down too and I'm still choking. The smoke output's that good. But it's got that mix of flavor profile. It, it tastes good. Still good. I'm about to put it down. I'm strong now to smoke. I can smoke myself out. It doesn't bother me as badly. I'll feel it, but I won't get sick. You know, like maybe I used to. But the flavors are good, and that's all there is to it. It's a nice blend of flavors and I'm going to leave it at that right now. This has been Smoking Giovanni. I'm going to be signing off at this time. Talk to y'all later everyone.